Hey guys, I hope you are doing well today and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I will be cleaning my mom's house. I had told her when I come up, I will be taking care of it for her to sit back and relax. So this video is almost one hour of clean with me and it is full of cleaning motivation. If you are here for the first time, my name is Naima Altador. I am a stay at home mom of three amazing boys. My oldest who is now the big four, the middle child who is two years old and my little baby who recently turned six months. He is definitely moving around everywhere in the house and the two oldest are so great with their baby brother which I am so pleased with and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing I would love to have you and if you already subscribed thank you so much for coming back for another great motivational cleaning video this is a very satisfying cleaning video it definitely will get you motivated to get things done so without further ado let's get started you got me wrapped around it. You feel so as you can see here, I started in the bathroom. It's more than one bathroom, but I'm only just doing this bathroom for today. And it is super early in the morning. I wanted to get an early start because it is gonna be a lot I have to do. I am starting here just organizing, putting everything away and giving it a really good clean. No matter where I hide. Yes guys, that is a cereal boxes that you do see. I could have easily put them anywhere, but the direction I was walking, the laundry room was the closest. So I quickly grabbed the cereal boxes and put them in there because I did not want that to be the very first thing that the kids see. Especially if they see it, they'll be like, I want cereal for breakfast. So to prevent that, I hid it from them. And while I'm cleaning, they're actually currently having their breakfast and it's going to remain hidden until they're done entirely with their breakfast and they know that when they're at grandma's i'm a little bit easier on them when it comes to their food choices but that doesn't mean i want cereal that is full of sugar to be the first thing that they eat so pretty much guys i'm hiding it from them i could have hit it anywhere in the house but again the laundry room was the closest place so i just placed it there no matter where i hide you got me sleep deprived So guys, it was my mother's birthday and also my brother's birthday was two days after hers and I needed a reason to get out the house. I am a stay at home mom so I am mostly in the house all day every day. With two very young toddlers and a baby, it can definitely be a lot and I honestly guys felt like I was standing on a thin string aiming to get out the house. And because it was my mom and brother's birthday, it was perfect timing. We packed up and had a nice road trip. We stayed for a week. It was a nice and relaxing, which I definitely needed that so badly. Even if it wasn't no one's birthday, I definitely would have packed up and left because like I said, I, I, needed, I needed some relaxed time. So I had the chance to go up, be around family, relax, enjoy my brother and mother's birthday. Everything just planned out so well and I am so glad that we went up and enjoyed ourselves.
while I'm doing this voiceover, guys, I feel like I have been gone for a long time. Like, it's been a while since I've done some voiceovers. I normally don't do voiceovers or a lot of voiceovers, but it feels like it's been a long time. The last video I did was doing the rug, and that was a few weeks ago. And the marathon is a compilation, so basically that, that was videos that was already done, and I thought it would be great to go ahead and throw it out there um, because we are in springtime, why not? But yeah, it's been a while since, I don't know, I feel like I've been gone for a while. Although I did go to my mom's house for some relaxed time, when I came back, the relaxing continued, guys. Like, I just needed a big, big break. Like, a big break from recording. Recording can take a very, very long time. But because I'm recording everything, it takes a lot longer. And I don't know, I just needed some, some time to relax and not have to think about that. It's good sometimes to just have a moment to yourself. And it doesn't matter what you're doing, what job you're doing, whether it's an hour or a few hours, sometimes it's good to just, you know, breathe. And that is exactly what I did. I just basically breathed. I did not go on social media at all. I did not go on my Instagram. I did not even go on my YouTube. I just stayed away from social media and just focused on what's in front of me which is my children and I am so glad I just took a moment and now it is time to get back to work and I also want to add I thank you so much for everyone who have subscribed to my channel it is because of you guys I am able to continue to stay home I appreciate and love every single one of you and if you are watching this and already considering subscribing I thank you as well. And while I was there, I didn't want my mom to lift a finger. So with that, I literally told everyone, don't worry about cleaning, I'll take care of it. Everyone relax. And because I was also in the relaxed mode, I just basically just chilled and just took a breather. I needed that breathing moment that, you know, sometimes you need that, that time. And I definitely had that time and we all had that time and the house definitely shows <laughs> and it definitely shows and now it is time to basically clean 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 so while i was packing up i made sure to pack everything with me as far as my recording equipment because why not record this for you guys right and the main thing is to also to record something different because you guys have seen me clean my house a million and one time so why not record you know something like a different environment so that's what i wanted to do for you guys see that right here it was all white I sprayed it and this is what happened this part right here oh my goodness so if you have something similar to this in your bathroom do not use this on the back part here is fine but this seems to be like a completely different material it's not like cardboard so pretty much it's this do not work with it do not do it Hopefully it dries. If not, I'm so sorry, mommy.
So now I am done mopping the floor. While I wait for the floor to dry completely, I am moving on to the patio. And once I'm done with that, I'll be going back to the bathroom to finish it up. goodness it was that very moment I made the wise decision not to clean that area because the size of that lizard was like a baby alligator okay no I am not gonna do it no ma'am no thank you I rebuke thee of me and my sister talking back and forth because while I was editing I pretty much started laughing because it just was so funny to me and maybe you guys would get a good laugh out of it so I ended up using the wrong mop I didn't know I didn't know I apologize and it does make sense um, that it is good to have an indoor mop and an outdoor mop and not to mix it that makes sense to me however the part that didn't make sense was the point of buying another mop when you can simply wash this one and just basically don't use it outside again or should I say I'm not gonna use it outside again because clearly everyone knows not to use it outside but me um, my apologies <laughs> so now that I know in the future if I ever decide to go ahead and come and give my mom's place a good clean I know which mop to use and which mop not to use
Now, I don't know what this is. Just looking at it, staring at it, it looks like it's a um, blue marker that has been sitting there. Why not try to get it off, right? Which I am trying to get this off, but the more I try, the worse it looks, guys. It's just spreading everywhere. It's definitely coming off, but not the way that I want it to come off. And it is everything I'm trying to do. I've used a toothbrush, rag, just the awesome liquid cleaner, which um, I believe my mom got from the dollar store. I'm not 100% sure where she got that from, but I do have one at my house that I get from the dollar store, which I know removes stains. That is the reason why I ended up using them. Like, okay, the one that I have is a little different, but if that can work, maybe this one can work as well, but it did not work. So before putting the cushions and the pillows back, I did allow it to dry. That way I'm not placing the cushion on top of it and it's still wet. So yeah, I did allow it to dry before placing the cushions and pillows back. Thankfully, a week from recording this, the carpet and the couch is going to get professionally cleaned. There's a professional that's going to come and do this whole entire thing, the carpet, the couch. I believe the one from uh, the patio as well, I'm not sure, but I, I think my mom mentioned she want to get that done as well. So yeah, let the professionals handle it because I, what I did did not work, but at least I tried, right? find the band that the blocks were in so for right now I am just using this box which the blocks are not gonna remain in them I just needed something to use so I'm just continuing to put the rest of the kids toys away to clear the floor because I want to go ahead and also vacuum the carpet
I'm living in a matchbox All this time All it needed was a little spark Give me my heart back Cause somebody stole it And put it in your hand Give me my heart back Cause somebody stole it And put it in your hand Give me my heart back Cause somebody stole it
next to me I got this from my mom several years ago and I do mean several years ago and she still has it. I don't think it works anymore so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Maybe it works. I haven't really tested it to see if it works. Sorry mom, I almost threw your wave oven away because it's been a while since I've seen you use it. So I thought maybe it didn't work anymore. I am so glad I listened to that inner voice that told me before trashing it, test it out. And that saved me from throwing away a perfectly working item that, that she probably does use. It's been a while since I've been to the beach because of the weather, it's been a little chilly. However, it definitely started warming up, so it's a lot warmer now, so it is perfect. And I took advantage of it while I was here because where my mom stayed, the beaches are absolutely breathtaking. So beautiful, clear water. Honestly, it's a lot nicer than where I live. So I definitely enjoyed myself. So the bag that was on the high chair was the one I took to the beach and it ended up getting a ton of sand in it so I am just basically cleaning off the high chair removing all the sand that got in the bag from the beach. Got used to the hiding, now you're feeding the doubt. Let me show you the silver lining, how to tame them and then to ride them. Cause you weren't meant to be car counting days, that's not your place. Shout at the night, rage at the lies, don't let the fear control what's deep within. Oh, 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 oh. Until the sky has fallen, I'll be around. I'll be there night and day. Be there both night and day. Until the sky. Trigger and I'm just blown away downright. My 
My mind's indifferent to know what's wrong or right. So it is a lot later in the day and I actually had to stop after I was done with the living room to run some errands because I have been trying so hard to find all the pieces that I need for the pantry makeover and since I am here in the location that I'm at they ran out of baskets that I need so my mom do have the same store near her so I thought why not go there and look, look to see if I can find some baskets near her house um, so I went to an old time pottery and of course I did not find any baskets which I was so bummed about but um, I did end up going to the dollar store which had the little containers that I wanted the small ones so at least I got one out of two which I'm excited about so little by little I've been getting things for the pantry and once I am done grabbing everything then I can go ahead and do the pantry makeover for some reason I keep thinking maybe I might not find every single item that I want to use for the pantry so I'm thinking to myself if I have at least majority of it then I could go ahead and start the pantry makeover which is getting a lot closer to me getting majority of it so I'm really excited about this ma um, pantry makeover because I don't know it's my first DIY and I'm super excited about it Away. 
forgot the name of this vacuum and I do not have one as you guys know I use the Dyson the big bulky one the one that has the longest cord ever I was actually excited to use my mom's because it is a very lightweight compared to the Dyson that we have however it doesn't really work well it's not sucking everything that's on the floor and it left quite a bit so using this for me was definitely more of a trial because when I started using it I was thinking hmm, I like the way that it feels it's very lightweight maybe I should get one but as I continue to use it I'm like no no I'm not gonna get one it's, I don't like the way that it works and the bulky Dyson we had for like a hundred years works so much better the living room I did vacuum the carpet with it so now I am questioning how good of a job it did because after vacuuming I had to go in with a broom to actually sweep the floor because I felt like the vacuum was not doing it and it left quite a bit that's why sometimes it is good to just use a good old-fashioned broom definitely can't go wrong with the broom strong you won't believe we've had our great but sorry there's a light inside of us so because I ended up using the wrong mop for the patio floor, I knew I had to go ahead and clean the mop. And after I was done with the living room, I had to run to the store. So when I came back, I had to make sure to do that because I had the kitchen to do. And I needed the mop to go ahead and mop the floor with it. So my mother must have cleaned the mop while I was doing my errand run, which I told her before I left, do not touch anything, do not do anything, let me do everything, do not do not lay a finger on anything of course being the busybody that she is she can't stay still she had to go ahead and clean the mop which i'm actually grateful for because it was just one less thing that i had to worry about when i came back but yeah i wanted to go ahead and do it but she went ahead and did it for me so of course i'm always grateful Between cleaning I have to breastfeed my little baby and since I have to do that I will be multitasking and being on the computer at the same time doing a little bit of work so instead I'm just cleaning around it and also the breakfast table is a little wobbly and that is because it is missing a screw I misplaced it I do not remember where I put it most likely I would have to trace my step and see if I can find it. If not, I would have to go to Home Depot to get one. So 
So now I'm just wiping the counters with this Lysol spray, which smells amazing. I have never used it, so I'm going to be purchasing one. So that way I can have it for when I'm cleaning the house because it really smells that good. Something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. So right now I am placing everything back on the counter how she would want it. She has all her fruits and bread in one section and my mom likes to leave them on that counter so i'm just putting everything back yes i'm just too scared to settle down that be many nights i got too hot and almost left town but there's something about you something about you i like about you i like i get too drunk And if you are new and have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Naima Outdoor. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.